Welcome grade 6 pupils to mathematics activities. The lesson in this video is about numbers and we shall begin with place value and total value. What is the place value of 6 in 846,214 and what is the total value of 6 in 846,214. This is how we find the place value. The place value of 6 in this number. So you write the number 846,214 and assign the place values to every digit. So 4 is place value starting from the right to the left. This first number 4, its place value is 1's. This, the next number 1, its place value is 10's. 2 is 100's. 6 is 1000's. 4 is 10's of 1000's. And 8 is 100's of 1000's. So, digit 6 in this number, its place value is thousands. How to find the total value? The total value of 6 in this number. Now, starting from the right, we have this number 4. Its place value is 1's. And there are 4 1's here. So the total value of 4 is 4. The next is 1. The place value of 1 is 10. There is only one 10 here. 10 plus 4 is 14. There is one 10 here. So the total value of 1 is 10. 2, its place value is hundreds. There are two hundreds here. That is 214. So the total value of 2 is 100, 100 times 2, which is 200. 6. The place value of 6 is thousands, and there are 6 thousands in this number. So the total value of 6 is 6,000. 4. Its place value is tens of thousands. And there are four ten thousands. So the total value of four is forty thousand. And finally, we have eight. Its place value is hundreds of thousands. And we have eight hundred thousands. So the total value of eight is eight hundred thousand. So to answer our question, the total value of 6 in this number is 6,000. Rounding of numbers. Round off 356,294 to the nearest thousand. To round off that number to the nearest thousand, we look at the place value, the digit whose place value is thousands. And in this number it is 6. So this 6 will remain the way it is or will increase depending on the number that's next to it. If that number, in this case 2, if it is less than 5, this 6 will not change. If this number is equal to 5 or more than 5, then this number will increase. Now in our case, 2 is less than 5, so this 6 does not change, but the rest of the numbers after it are written as 0. So we have 356,000. When we round off this number to the nearest thousand, we get 356,000. If we look at this illustration, we find that this number 6,000 
294 is nearer to 6000 than to 7000 that's why when you round off this number to the nearest thousand it is closer to 6000 300 and 6000 all right finding square roots of numbers a square root of a number is a number that when you multiply by itself you get that number okay so find the square root of 784 which number can you multiply by itself to get 784 This is how we find the square root. We use prime factors. A prime number is a number that is only divisible by 1 and by itself. All right? For example, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. So in this particular case, we start with the, the lowest prime number. In this case 2 if it is divisible by that 2 so in this case 784 is divisible by 2 so we ask ourselves how many times does 2 go into this number 2 goes into 7 3 times remain 1 add 1 on 8 to make it 18 2 goes into 18 9 times Two goes into four two times. We use two again because this number is divisible by two. Two goes into three once, remain one. Into nineteen nine times, remain one. Into twelve six times. We use two again. Two goes into nineteen nine times, remain one. Into sixteen eight times. We use two again. Two goes into nine four times. Remain one into eighteen nine times. Now the next prime number we shall use here is seven. We cannot use three. We can't use five because this number is not divisible by three or five. So use seven. Seven goes into forty-nine seven times. Now we are done. To find the square root, we pair similar numbers. 2 and 2 is one pair 2 and 2 is another pair 7 and 7 is another pair so we pick one number from each pair and multiply them so we have 2 times 2 times 7 we get 28 which is the square root of 784 how to multiply numbers multiply 5784 by 87 We arrange our numbers like that one on top and another one below then we start multiplication We start with this number 7 and multiply by every digit above it 7 times 4 is 28 Write 8 here carry 2 7 times 8 56 56 plus 2 58 right 8 here carry 5 7 x 7 49 49 plus 5 is 54 right 4 here carry 5 8 7 5 is 35 that 5 plus 5 is 40 so we are done with 7 we now start with the 8 and write on the second line below 8 8 times 4 is 32. Write 2 here, carry 3. 8 times 8 is 64. Plus 3 is 67. Write 7 here, carry 6. 8 times 7, 56. Plus 6 is 62. Write 2 here, carry 6. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 plus 6, 46. You only add these numbers. This row. Plus this row. Eight plus nothing is eight. Eight plus two is ten. Write zero carry one. Four plus seven is eleven. Plus one is twelve. Write two carry one. 
0 plus 2 is 2 plus 1, 3. 4 plus 6 is 10. Write 0 carry 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the answer is 503,208. Alright. That's how you multiply numbers. Finding the LCM of numbers. Find the LCM of 6 and 8. We use prime factors again. So in this case, we make some kind of table and write the two numbers 6 and 8, which we want to find their LCM. So start with the, this prime number, this prime factor. Start with the 2, the lowest, which can be, which is divisible, which is divisible by 6 and 8. So 2, two goes into 6 three times, 2 goes into 8 four times. 4 can slip it by 2. So we use 2 again. 2 goes into 3, it cannot. So we just write 3. 2 goes into 4, 2 times. Right? 2 can slip it by 2. So we write 2 again. 2 goes into 3, it's not possible. Just write 3. 2 goes into 2, once. So we are through with 2. Now, we use 3 because this one can be divided by 3. 3 goes into 3, once. And we just write this one as it is 1. So we have these prime factors and what we do, we multiply all the prime factors. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. We have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. So the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. Addition of fractions using the LCM, right? What is 3 over 5 plus 1 over 7? We must find the LCM. We must make the denominator to be the same. This is how we do it. The LCM of 5 and 7 is 35. In this particular case, you can find the LCM by multiplying 5 times 7 to get 35. Right? Now, you ask yourself, how many times does 5 go into that 5? It is 7 times. So 7 times 3. One above five. Seven times three. That one. Plus, ask yourself seven. How many times does seven go into five? Five times. Five times one. All right. So we have seven times three is twenty-one. Plus, five times one is five. So we get twenty-one plus five is twenty-six. Everything over thirty-five. So the answer is twenty-six out of thirty-five. That is how we add fractions by using the LCM. Addition of mixed numbers. A mixed number has a whole number and a fraction. Another name for a whole number is an integer. So in this case we have 1 and 3 over 4 plus 6 and 2 over 3. 1 is a whole number, 6 is a whole number and these are fractions. This is how we do it. 1 and 3 over 4 plus 6 and 2 over 3 is equal to, we can add the whole numbers separately. 1 plus 6 is 7. Because this number is like 1 plus 3 over 4 plus 6 plus 2 over 3. So we can add the whole numbers separately. 1 plus 6 is 7. Then plus 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3. So now we add 7 plus the fraction. We find the LCM of 4 and 3, which is 12. 4 goes into 12 3 times. 3 times 3, we get 9. Plus, 3 goes into 12 4 times. 4 times 2, we we'll get 8. So we can evaluate the, what is at the top. We find that it is 9 plus 8, which is 17 over 12. So it is 7 and 17 over 12. But this 17 over 12 is a mix, is an improper fraction. So we can simplify it. 12 goes into 17 once. So that one you add to 7 to get 8. What remains it is 5. 5 over 12. So the answer is 8 and 5 over 12. Squares of fractions. 
we have brackets 12 over 13 bracket squared so you want to find the square of this number this fraction right this is how we do it we can write this number as 12 squared divided by 13 squared when you open the bracket so you get 12 times 12 divided by 13 times 13 and you get 144 over 169 that's how you can square fractions equivalent fractions convert this now this fraction in equivalent fraction with the denominator 100 now a number like 1 over 2 its equivalent fraction can be 5 over 10 3 over 6 and so on in this particular case we want to convert this fraction to an equivalent fraction but its denominator should be 100 this is how we do it uh, we want to make this 25 to be equal to 100 so we multiply by 4 25 times 4 is 100 we do the same thing to the numerator 23 times 4 we get 92 so we have not changed this number it is still the same the way it was because you are multiplying it by 4 over 4 and 4 over 4 is 1 a number by times 1 is that number so we have not changed anything here we have only made this fraction we have only uh, uh, given it an equivalent fraction in which case the denominator is 100 so this is how we do it right so this fraction is an equivalent fraction to this one here Converting fractions into percentages. We have this question here. In a math test, a people got 42 marks out of 50. What percentage mark did he get? Okay. So he got 42 correct out of 50. So to make it, to change it into percentage, and percentage means out of 100. So instead of out of 50, we make this 50 to be 100. How can we do it? We multiply 50 times 2 to get 100. We do the same for the numerator. 42 times 2, which is 84. So it becomes 84 over 100. This is a percentage. So you can write like this or 84%. Adding and rounding of decimals. Add 106.343 to 93.678 and round off the sum to two decimal places. Now this number has three decimal places and the place value of these three is tenths, is hundreds, is thousands, is ones, is tenths, is hundreds. This one is ones, this one is tenths, decimal. This one is tenths, hundreds, thousands. This is how we add the two decimals. We write them, the two numbers, or whatever number they are, and arrange according to place value. So this is the decimal, ones aligned with the ones, hundreds with the hundreds like that, tenths with the tenths, hundreds with the hundreds thousands with the thousands so after you have arranged that according to place value you can add 3 plus 8 is 11 carry 1 4 plus 7 is 11 plus 1 is 12 carry right to carry 1 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 right 0 carry 1 there's more 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 carry 1 0 plus 9 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Then the one you carried here plus 1 you get 2. So this is the answer. But you are supposed to correct to two decimal places. So this is the digit that will be affected. Alright? If this number is less than 5, 
and this two remains the way it is. If this number was more than five, five or above, this number will change, will increase. So in our case, the answer is 200 and 200.02, correct to two decimal places. Converting decimals to fractions. We are supposed to convert 0 0.35 to a fraction. How do we do that? Now this 0 0.35 has two places of decimal, all right? So to remove this decimal, we multiply this 0.35 times 100, all right? And we divide by 100. So we have 0 0.35 times 100 divided by 100. So in this case, we have not changed anything here because we are multiplying by 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1. And a number times 1 is that number. So 0 0.35 times 100 is 35 divided by 100. So you get that 5 over 100 as a fraction. But you can simplify this further because 5 can divide into this that 5. 5 goes here 7 times. 5 goes here 20 times. So the answer is 7 over 10. Right? Now, that is the end. You can like, you can share, and subscribe to be able to see more videos which are educational in nature. Thank you so much.